This time we're looking at how you can create an amazing looking one pager website all within Adobe Spark. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. Now if this is your first time here don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification and let's just get into it. Last time I talked about Adobe Spark Post and how you can use it to create amazing looking social media images or posters to print and hang in your classroom. Well, Adobe Spark has two other offerings. There is also Adobe Spark Page and Adobe Spark Video. Now where do I find Adobe Spark? Well, simply go to spark.adobe.com. Now you can find all the links mentioned today in the description below. Simply click on the link and open up an account that is completely free. Now there are some premium offerings, but today we are looking at everything available free of charge on this website. So click on create new and we're going to select page. Now if you would like to see what a Adobe Spark post looks like, have a look at the link in the top right corner and you will be taken to the other video. Now, you can see Spark page. This is now my one pager website. Now, as you can see, it's very similar and very different at the same time when compared to Google Sites. You scroll down, you have different sections. You can add photos, text, buttons, videos, photo grids and glide shows. Now, let's just add a title. I'm going to say Adobe Spark website and then as a subtitle demonstration for flipped classroom tutorials there we go now i can see i've missed a little space here there we go now i obviously don't like these colors so i would like to have a nice little photograph in the back i'm going to click on photos and what i really like about adobe spark is that it ties in with creative commons so i can click on find free photos and this is going to search websites like Unsplash and other sources where you can use the images freely without having to worry about copyright or royalties or reuse policies. Just make sure that you use the Creative Commons licenses and that you stick to those licenses. So let's look for a nice little techie background. So I'm going to type in tech. Now you'll see literally hundreds of photographs are being searched through and there's lots of tech images available. Now I'm going to go with this as a background image. There we go. And now you can see that the image has been added to my header. Now, as you can see, when we scroll down, the title stays in place and I can start writing a story. Now I'm going to add in a video that I've previously made on how to create infographics. You can see I can simply add my YouTube link. I'm going to paste my link in here and save this. Now you can use YouTube links, Vimeo or Spark video links. There we go. Now, this is my Adobe Spark header, my YouTube video, and I'm going to add a little bit of text just to give some background information. And I have some limited formatting here. I can center, I can have it on the left align, I can have right align. If you want more functionality like adding more color and logos, then you will have to click on this icon and sign up for a premium. Now, the free offering looks very professional as it is. Now, you can even add another photo. So let's just add another photograph. There we go. And let's just add this one. And we are now presented with a number of different options. We can have a fill screen, a window, full width, or a moving image. Now I can move this image up and down, I can replace it, but I wanna show you the window because what I particularly like about window is that as I scroll up or down, it simply highlights the image in the background and I can add a caption. So check out even more tech and edtech videos on the website, eduflip.net. There we go. So let's go up, let's have a look at our preview. And this is what my one pager website will look like to the world. So as I scroll down, you will see the image moves up, all looks very professional. And you will see there is a video here. Now I could have about three or four different videos. It's whatever you decide as design for your website. Then you see the special window pop up as I come up. The caption reveals itself and I keep scrolling down. And then finally made with Adobe Spark page. Now, if you want to create your own, you can click on that link. But 
for the purpose of creating a portfolio, a student website, or even for you as a teacher or educator to have your online CV on a free, easy to use, one pager website. Now, how do I go about sharing this website with the world? Simply leave the preview and click on share. Now, once you've shared this, you can change the title, pick a category for your website. You can change the author, have some credits for the photos by Adobe Spark page, which again, saves you time and makes sure that proper credit is given where needed. And you can go down and then you can even have it featured on the Adobe Spark website. Now you can turn that off and then create a link. So I'm going to quickly pick a category and create a link. Now the link to this website is being created. The website is being made public and published onto the internet. And here we go, I now have this link. I can use an embed code, I can email it, I can share it on my Twitter or Facebook. If you wanna share it anywhere else, simply copy this link. And let's open up an incognito browser to show you that this does indeed work. So here we have our online presence created in less than five minutes. Adobe Spark website, a demonstration with a video. I can click on that video. The video will open up full screen and play. I can then sh close the video, scroll down. I have my very professional looking window view and finished. Now people can like this page. They can click on appreciate it. And then you as the author or editor will get notified. Adobe Spark page, the second Adobe Spark just as powerful as images and posts, but a very different approach. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I will see you in the next video.